Oh, morning, folks. Is it spring yet? Doesn't feel like it. What's going on? Anyway, what is going on? The weather is totally different from last year. By this time last year, my potatoes were out, cabbages, everything was out. This year, nothing's out yet. So this weekend, today's Saturday, I'll probably be here today and tomorrow. So this video you're watching now, it's filmed over two days. So there you go. I brought some compost over as well. Wilkinson's compost. <laughs> I'm not going to... Well, I'll show you it later, maybe. Because I need to do some potting on. All of the kale and, and stuff in the little seeds, uh, cell trees is, is, is getting massive now. Needs potting on. The cabbages and stuff that were in here have been outside now for a week, netted over. So they need to go out, but especially me potatoes. So it's going to be a busy weekend, folks. A busy weekend. Fingers crossed. If the rain holds off, we'll get some crops on the go. First of all, though, kettle on. Season a bit. Right, I'm back. Cutter. Sorted. Ah, I tell you what. It's the first day today that it's been actually warm. I mean, it's warm in the greenhouse. It's been warm-ish in the greenhouse most of the time. But... The sun is actually warm, so I'm going to make the most of it because there is some black clouds coming over. I'm going to get the potatoes out. Later on, I will be potting on the there's broccoli and kale. Everything over there needs potting on. Um, what else? Hopefully I'll get my cabbages out. I'll show you them later. The sweet peas need going out. Everything needs going out. So I'm going to crack on with that. But... I'm going to try something different here. As you know, you, well, as you've seen on my previous videos, you know how I put my potatoes out. So I'm not going to film that. What I'm going to do is, because it's interesting, hopefully, um, I'm going to do a time lapse. I'm going to set the camera up with my long lens on the guitar. So it can get a good canny view of the great tit going in and out of the nest box. Which should be canny. Uh, just another thing before I do crack on as well. If you've noticed, I've switched back to my normal camera for this video. Um, I tried doing 4K. It, it, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> um, and plus the video, some people were saying the video quality was brilliant. Other people were saying it was a little bit blurry, and I agree, it was blurry on my television. I didn't like it, I wasn't happy with it, so I'm just going to stick with this for now and see what happens. Who needs 4K anyway, eh? Right. Oh, I'm sweating in here. Do you know what the... It's 40 degrees in here today, folks. Woo! Right, I'm going to crack on. Like I say, hopefully we'll see some bird box action. I don't want to disturb them too much, like I say, anyway, right, bye, I'm going to crack on. Well, folks, it's turned into a glorious day out, out there today. I've just finished, i put two rows of the Charlotte potatoes in. And while I was doing that, I did make a time-lapse video set on the camera, eh, on the guitar. But, I've just looked at the footage there, and what's happened is, with the bird moving too quick, like I set the camera settings to the wrong time lapse. Do so I didn't get any bird footage. It has been going in and out. So what I will be doing next, after I put the kettle on, like because I'm choking. But what I will be doing after that is, hello, Mr. B. <laughs> Keep away from me. And <laughs> what was I saying? Aye. So. After my cuppa, I'm going to put some rooster and then sagita potatoes out next. So while I do that, what I'm going to do is just make a leave the video running on the bird box for a half an hour or something. I'm about to get some footage. So we'll see what it's like and all that. And I'll show you what I've been doing when I've done it. Read kettle time. Right folks, so what's happening? My potatoes, the Charlotte are out now. 
I'm, now I'm going to put out these ones, which are the Sagita. Let's see on there. Lovely chits. What a lovely pair of chits. <laughs> I'm not talking about my t-shirt either. Um, yeah, these are the Sagita. Now I'm really looking forward to seeing what these turn out like because when I bought them, I got them from New Bern Allotment Shop and the guy that was selling us them told us that there's a guy in New Bern that's one of the top potato growers in the northeast. And this is the only potato that he grows, air grows, Sagita. So I'm going to get them out. I, ha I did leave the camera running. Still no footage, I, I'm afraid, but I'll keep trying. I think what it was was I had the camera too close to the actual hole for the for the bird to go in, you know. So I'll move the camera back, maybe while I have the air, get these potatoes out and all that kind of thing. Right? So I'll see you in a bit. Right, well I'm a bit bored of putting potatoes out now so I might as well start putting other things out. As you can see, these shallots need putting out. They're getting a bit big for these pots here. Also, the broccoli needs going out as well. Everything needs going out. Look at the, these sweet peas as well. They all need to go out either today or tomorrow. So like I say, what I'm going to do now is put these broccoli in. I've been preparing the brassica cage there, so follow me and I'll show you how to do it. Now that kind of thing. <laughs> right, so here's where the broccoli's going to go. I've just prepared that little bit of land there. There's only I've forked it over. I haven't put any fertiliser in yet because I do that when I put the broccoli in. But... There's one little important job you need to do, especially when you're talking about brassicas. I've forked the soil over. It's nice. It's there's no. It's weed free, but it's nice. It's loose now. Now, cabbages, cauliflowers, anything like that, kale, brassicas, they all like to be planted in firm soil. So the best thing to do is do the old gardener's jig. So I'll crack on with that. Right, so now that's that done, I'll go and get them broccoli. Right, so here's the broccoli. I'm going to put it right there where you're standing. So can I be past, please? Excuse me. Right. Time to get these broccoli in. So, as you just seen there, I've uh, done the gardener's jig on the land, and it's nice and firm there. Now, what I would do next is get me trowel, uh, or me little hand fork trowel thing, and I'll put them in. But I haven't got that, so I'll just go and get it. Two seconds. Right, sorry about that, folks. I can't find me trowel, so I just have to use this, me little fork. Anyway, as I was saying, broccoli, all brassicas like to be planted in a firm ground. So get your gardening jig shoes on. I'll just make a little hole here, as you do. Just big enough for the pot to go in. Now I'll add me little bag of goodies. Little bit of blood. Fish blood and bone. Grow more. And for a little added touch. 
some seaweed, calcified seaweed. So I add that into the mix, then give it a good, good mix up. Just like a 10 pence mix up. That should be fine. Oh, I'm kneeling right on a stone there, folks. Right, so let's have a look at these roots. Roots and ting. Well, not bad. I'll get them in anyway. Then give them a good pressing down. Try and make a little groove as well so when you're watering the water will sit round the plant just like you want it. Right, I'll crack on with this. Season a bit. Right folks, it's starting to look a little bit dodgy out there now. I think we might get some rain. Um, I've put my broccoli in, I've put the cabbages in. Now I'm going to get these shallots out. Because that's your shallot for the day. Haha. <laughs> so if it does rain tomorrow, um, there's plenty for us to do inside the greenhouse. But for now, I'll crack on, I'll get these out and have another cup of before I go. See you in a bit. Follow me. Sunshine, bring me blah, blah, whatever, blah, 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 all the while. Right, 
So that's the shallots out. The cabbage is out, broccoli's out. It's still sunny, it's not raining yet, so I might still pl plod on. First of all, as you can probably tell, I'm choking for a drink, so I'm gonna get the kettle on. I'll see you in a bit. Right folks, I'm just going to get the kettle on. Check this out. I bet you didn't know my shed had running water. Spot on. Right, so while that kettle boils there, there's one more job I need to do before I start watering, just in case it doesn't rain, because I, I wouldn't want everything to suffer. Anyway, as you can see here, I've got my sweet peas and they're in the place. So I'm gonna just quickly put these in, make a cuppa and sign off for the day. So I'll see you in a bit. Reet. Well that's me done, as you can see the sun is still shining so I'll just quickly show you around just in case it's raining tomorrow. I'll start off on the clematis, start at the flower, lovely, signs of spring. Uh, right, here we go, there's a few more there, lovely, right anyway. Like I say, it might rain tomorrow, so I might as well show you what's happening today. If you can see there, the Hebe has started to flower, which is good. Getting plenty of rhubarb there, if you can see. Plenty of it. I see some of it at the back there has gone to seed. That's no problem though. The cherry tree is still covered in blossom there. Very nice, as are these bluebells, and there's a few da um, dandelions in amongst them as well for the bees. But uh, hi, there's the bluebells, they're pink bells. Haha, <laughs> bluebells, what a lovely scene! Loads of greenery around here, as always few more bluebells down there so right today what have I done it's nice to see a little bit sunshine still the onions are doing fine these are the banana shallots that I put out they're doing all right so everything's had a good watering as well here's the cabbages I'm gonna have to figure out something to keep that closed but there as you can see I'll just get in there broccoli at the back these are the cabbies cabbages and these are the primo ones and I've got plenty more space to extend this if I needs be which I probably be will needs be so there's uh, four rows of taties in the day no three rows of taties sorry Ray came he wanted to use his tool so how could I not let him use his potato tool <laughs> so tomorrow I'll come tomorrow if it's not raining I'll get the rest of the potatoes out so there is a one row of sagita two three well today I put two rows of charlotte out and that's another row of charlotte that I put out a couple of weeks ago so the start of the potato season has begun the broad beans are doing all right there. This uh, comfrey has shot up since the last video. Tomorrow I will be cutting it back. 
because as you can see it's starting to flower there I don't want it to flower because it all ends up going into that bucket just over there to make some awesome liquid fertilizer right is there anything else all of the daffodils and that have died off now so it'll be a nice little space for me other flowers that I've got grown there this rose doing all right and his rose is covered in the uh, greenery like but there's hardly any sign I mean tiny little tiny little blossoms there so I don't know what's happening there hope it's all right the lily is doing what it's always going to do and that is grow I the cabbages I've just put the cabbages there as you seen earlier on but they're in the ground now there's a few more sweet peas need to go out maybe it's tomorrow but I, as if you can see from there I've put a line all the way along so that should be cool these peas have picked up as well so they're doing all right the bird has been in and out of the nest today which is great I don't want to disturb it too much I'll just quickly show you in here what's going on the sweet corn is doing fantastic oh did you hear that ha, that's me belly folks I'm starving need to go home for some tea it's six o'clock now I've been here for seven hours Um. Aye, everything's all right on ya. Have I zoomed out there? I zoomed in. Or Aye, I was zoomed in. Sorry about that, folks. So the sweet corn is doing all right. Soon be going out. Tobacco is doing all right as well, and that'll be soon be going out as well. Ah, me copper, get in. Be cool now. Ah, lovely. Right, I. Tomorrow. What I need to do is, as you can see, all of this, everything is just getting far too big for these cell trays. So I bought some compost, Westland's Grow Sure, and I've got to put everything on because it needs be. Dahlias doing all right. All of the sunflowers, especially these. Especially these dinner plate size ones. Doing good. These tomatoes, I've just noticed there. So I'll give you a demonstration. Get the suckers off. Hey, sucker. Who said that? <laughs> Everyone should know that one. Right, like I say, I'll just get rid of these suckers while I'm thinking on. Just pull them off. You don't want them. Unless your tomatoes are bush varieties. Which they probably aren't. So get get the suckers off. Is there any more? Anyway, they're doing all right. They'll need to go out soon as well. Here is the rooster potatoes with lovely chits on there. They'll be going out, if not tomorrow, sometime in the rest of the week. There's Pear, 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 Granville. There's the uh, Picasso potatoes. Here is the Lobelia, which has shot up since the last time, which is good. Uh, cucumbers at the back there. Love Lies Bleeding has also shot away. They'll need to go out soon. And the Zinnias, they do it all right. Is there anything else to show you? These potatoes, look at these. This one here, especially. It's romping away. I wonder if I'm going to get any potatoes in there or what. These other ones, doing champion and all. Anyway, that's for another day. So, like I say, I've had enough for the day. If it is raining tomorrow, I'll be back in the greenhouse doing some bits and bobs, like I say, potting on, what have you. Um, if it isn't raining, I will be here anyway. So, I'll crack on and I'll see you in a bit. All right, don't forget, I'm coming back tomorrow, so this video isn't finished just yet. <laughs> Bye!
Well hello folks, I'm back again, like I said I would be, it's Sunday today, it's a different day altogether, it's been trying to rain all day, I've just been busy, I haven't just come here, I've been here for a couple hours now, I wanted to crack on, get the rest of my potatoes out, because I was talking to one of my neighbours there, and he said it's going to be raining for the next week, so I thought I'm going to make the most of it before it does start raining, and get the potatoes out, so I've done that fertilizer now as I was putting my potatoes in I had a little thought and there's a lot of new allotment tiers allotment gardeners and all that they don't seem to realize this and it's one of the golden rules whatever you take out of the soil you have to put back into the soil Do you know what I mean for example a potato that potato plant is going to need a lot of nutrients and all that to grow, which it does. Then the soil has no nutrients left in it. So if you went and planted something else in there without putting any fertilizer back into the ground, your yeah, plants won't grow. It's, uh, it's one of the golden rules, folks. Anyway, I have another idea because I've got a few spare potatoes there. So, I'm going to show you, Coy, and follow me, in fact no, not follow me, I'll just show you when I'm up there. This is another job I need to do today, Ch chop back this comfrey, it's grown wild. I'll leave this one here, for the f with the flowers on, for the bees, and I'll chop back the rest, and get them into there. Because I know a lot of people don't like using their uh, blood and bone and, and all of that for fertiliser, if you're vegan or whatever. Um, anyway, whoa, <laughs> I've, I'm not showing you what I've been doing. Right there, as you can see, my potatoes are all in. So these are the ones I put in yesterday. I've just marked these cups with the names on just for now. Um, so there's a few more rows in. That's the row of Sagita, a row of Rooster, Rooster, and two rows of Picasso there. And like I say, I've got a little bit of spare seed potatoes here lovely chits check out the chits on that so what i'm going to do is and i know someone i know people are going to go whoa you can't use tires blah 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 well i'm going to put some potatoes in the tires because i noticed the other day when i was here they've dropped a load of wood chips off so i'm going to put some potatoes in there and a load of wood chips and then once, once they grow, earth them up with the, uh, put an extra uh, tyre on each pile and see how it goes. Now I know people are going to say, whoa, uh, chemicals leaching into the soil and all of that, but them tyres are really old and I think if any leaching into the soil was going to happen, it would have happened. Um, but it's entirely up to you folks. Your choice, if you want to grow potatoes and tyres like that, it's up to you. I'm not forcing anybody, I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's wrong. But what I am saying is, I'm going to crack on. See you in a bit. Well folks, I've had enough of working outside for the day. I'm going to just sit here, drink my copper, and do some potting on. I'll put that there just in case it falls. Um. I so I got some compost the other day from Wilkinson's because I had to. Grocer compost. It's not bad, it's not good either. So I've mixed it with a little bit of that clover professional stuff. And I'm going to get these. Well, I'm, like I say, I'm just going to sit here for an hour and a half and pot on these things out of the cell trays into bigger cups because they need to be. Things are uh, romping away now, even though the weather still never cast a clout on me is out. It is cold still in the mornings like, but you never know. Anyway, I've set the camera up this way, so hopefully you'll be able to see the great tit flying in and out of the nest, because it's been doing it all day. I don't want to speak too much because I don't want to disturb it, so I'm just going to crack on with this. I, I, this morning, I woke up this morning, did it, did it, I woke up this morning and uh, I was feeling a little bit down like 
but gardening helps it does it really does help be one with nature and all that it um so i haven't done much filming today i just got on with what i wanted to do before it starts raining because i like everybody else i suppose everybody else is well behind with this weather um but we've just got to get on with it plot on now look Aye, these are the Godzilla broccoli and they certainly are living up to the name that's not the most sturdy of benches there like so I have to be careful what I'm doing aye gardening good for the mind body and soul and I, I am the proof right here <laughs> um, so anyway folks that's it. I might as well sign off here. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, uh, bit. thanks for watching, liking, and commenting, and subscribing, and all that kind of thing. Really is appreciated. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Like I say, I'm just going to sit here, listen to the bird song for about an hour, and get all these potted on, nice and peaceful. So, till the next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe and all that. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Are you still here? Bye. <laughs>